look all around you and describe the scenery for me. Nowhere. Nowhere. What does this nowhere feel like? It's like a cloud. Like a cloud. What color is this cloud? Blue. Blue. Are you in the cloud? Or do you just see the cloud? I'm observing. You're observing the cloud. So let's find out a little bit about this cloud. Does this cloud move? Moving. Mm -hmm. As you are observing this cloud, do you feel that you have a body? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Can you go towards that cloud? See if you can get closer. And let's find out where that cloud takes you. Just the moving. Just moving. In what direction is it moving? Spreading. <coughs> it's spreading? Okay. When it spreads, does the cloud get bigger? It's like a nebula. Like a what? Nebula. Like a nebula? Okay. So do you feel that you're in outer space? Look around you. Yeah, I think I'm in a space. Okay. Now when you're in space, do you feel that you have a physical body? Or that you can float in space? Focus on yourself now. What does the observer look like? I'm observing. Mm -hmm. Describe for me what you see. I'm flying into the Light. Mm -hmm. What color is this light? It's like uh, many different. Mm -hmm. How does that light feel? It's like jumping to splitting. It's splitting? Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What happens after it splits? It's like a light. Mm hmm A light. If you open the window in the morning mm -hmm. through the curtain, mm -hmm. something like that, mm -hmm. I am uh, into it. You're into this light now. How does this light feel? It's like a high speed. Mm -hmm. Are you going high speed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's find out where you're going to. You can be there in an instant. Be there now. What do you see? I don't see nothing. Alright. So I'm going to now ask to speak with that voice that gives you the information in the automatic writing. Let's take a deep breath in and let's start going deeper and deeper, going into this trance. And let me speak now with that voice that gives you the information. The information the now is. May I speak to this one that gives you this information? May I connect to that?
Do I have permission to speak with the one that speaks with you? Yes. Thank you. Can you tell me why you brought Hiroshi here? What did you want to tell him today? You have written to him many times through his artwork and today you get to speak with him so that he can hear your voice. What did you want to tell him today? He questions what his mission is in life. Have you already given him his mission? Is he accomplishing his mission now? Speak with him so he can hear your voice rather than just your words as he writes them. Allow him to express your words. But Hiroshi's going to have to open his mouth and allow the words to come out rather than write them. Would you tell me what the meaning is of this single phrase, the now is, that you've been giving him since 1977? It is only one. Mm -hmm. If you focus, everything connected. Because everything is one thing. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what this one thing is? How can you explain One that? spirit. Mm -hmm. one source mm -hmm. that you have to wake mm -hmm. that you have to awaken to meet with the source in a form mm -hmm. how do we awaken to meet with the source You have to sleep. We have to sleep? <laughs> what does that mean? Unknown mother is to be known. If it's mood, if there's no movement, you never know. Mm -hmm. How you know if it's move? So to know movement, you have to move. But if you are movement itself, mm -hmm. how you know? Mm. So, is source like movement, that it doesn't know? It's not... Source is always change. Mm. That exist. Change is constant. Mm -hmm. To understand mm -hmm. 
source is you should realize you are the source. Mm-hmm. But the source yourself may forget. Hmm. That's why he had to wake. But while you are wakening, it's same as a sleeping state. Hmm. So your body gets tired, then you realize you need to take rest. When you write those words through Hiroshi, what are you trying to teach? This concept? Are you trying to wake people up? Excuse me? When you write these words that he does on these rocks, what is the teaching that you're trying to tell the world? Every meaning, there's no life unless it moves. If you write, you move. Mm. If you write, you end, then you finish, so you have to start it again. Is our life like that? You have to keep writing. Mm. Keep searching. No end. So we'll never know the answer because there's no answer. If you search for the answer, Mm -hmm. you never know the answer. Mm -hmm. You keep searching for the answer. But there might be answer. How do we find the answers? Or are we creating our own answers? Answer is searching. Mm. So is there no end to searching? If there is an end, we don't exist. Mm. We exist because there is no end, no beginning. No such thing. Mm-hmm. It's only human creation. Hmm. So we put limitations as that, humans? That human creation, human invention. Hmm. There's no such thing. Why do we create that as humans, this limitation? That okay. creation, the language, is also you created. Hmm. Does our language have limitations too? Yes. Mm -hmm. But you have to understand, use language. (laughs) Using, by using language. Now some people use language very well. Is there a good way to use the language? Yeah, we have to divide. The thing to know which one is which. But none of those may be which one is which. So we don't know which one is which, depending on the meaning of it or our intention. It's very interesting that we're talking about language because Hiroshi says that sometimes he's tried to write in Japanese 
and it switches back to English. Why does that happen? Why can he express himself better in English? It's just a habit. It's a habit. It's more you used to write English. Mm -hmm. That becomes a habit. Okay. Basically, that's what it is. Okay. But in Japanese, by using the pictures that the letters represent, does it not give you more ability to express things? Or it's just a habit? It's an image. Japanese character has an image. Mm -hmm. Besides, the other meaning mm -hmm. which represents there's one way to understand the character even. Mm -hmm. There's different aspect. In Japanese language there is two way at least. So two different way to see, to understand. In English is it just one way to understand? English English is the character has no image. Mm. Originally Japanese language is sound is the origin mm. and you adapt the image however if you want to mem memorize the scene as visual as possible you draw to communicate with third persons to other person the image you cannot directly transfer uh, to other person mm -hmm. so they invented the character to explain mm -hmm. use as a picture mm -hmm. That's originally how they made. The meantime, its meaning changed. Mm -hmm. And sometimes totally changed. Hmm. Even opposite. Opposite meanings? Opposite meaning. <laughs> So Japanese character has one is by sound actually what it is to mention mm -hmm. the other is because of the misinterpretation you get uh, totally different information mm. so they use as a secret code sometimes hidden secret meaning. Hmm. So it would seem that if he would be writing this automatic writing in Japanese, it could mean a different thing. It is. Mm -hmm. For example, when he writes the knowledge, mm -hmm. you could explain everything you could pick up everything 
at this moment of now, everything exists. Mm -hmm. There's nothing left, even the edge of the universe, mm. all over. every pieces. Then after you finish, again you focus, everything exists. Mm -hmm. So why has Hiroshi come to this earth now to write these things? To focus. To focus for the people to focus. Mm -hmm. What do we need to focus on? What is the we mind? all exist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because we have fear For example, for the death, mm -hmm. people think there is no such thing as a death. This is a human invention. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about death? Mm -hmm. Now, more people understand this. Mm -hmm. What happens when our bodies die? Body is a vehicle. A vehicle. Mm -hmm. Or just temporary. Mm -hmm. Rent a car. <laughs> so we have a rent a body? Temporary. Okay. You got the body to experience this. First dimensional world. Mm. There's limitations, material limitations. Mm -hmm. In the three dimensional world. And you use imagination for long thing. Mm. What should we be using our imagination for? Yes. <laughs> Hiroshi uses his imagination for his art. Just a part. Mm -hmm. Not really. Mm. What should he be focusing on? Trust. Trust. Can you tell me more about what he should be trusting? Trust of he, what he feels, what he believes. Trust in his beliefs. Mm -hmm. Why does he not trust his beliefs? Still, he was brainwashed. Mm -hmm. 
from daily life, from his daily life. So he's brainwashed from his daily life and his early life? Because of uh, he's exposing himself with traveled Community. Mm-hmm. What are the things that Hiroshi thinks about and believes in that he's been brainwashed? Excuse me? What are the things that he's been brainwashed that we need to change? Still infected. He's infected? Still not the cleansing. Mm. Mm, still. What's holding him back? Does he have fear of something? What do you want to tell him today? Keep going. Anything what you do anything any direction you choose including mistake it's a part of a program. Mm. So it's okay to make mistakes? <laughs> This is a step by step. Mm-hmm. So how is Hiroshi doing in his stepping? Is he in the right direction? Yes. Mm-hmm. Who's guiding him as he walks through life? Does he have guides or ancestors that help him? Japanese. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Japanese ancestors? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who works with him? His grandfather helping him. Yes. Yes. Does he have a message for Hiroshi today? What does Ms. Jisuke want to say? He's doing okay. Mm-hmm. Does he have any advice for his grandson? to visit shrine. <laughs> Does he or she have anything to say to grandfather? How does it feel to be with grandfather again? I always think of you.
Let me see. Would you allow me now to speak with the higher self again? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you for allowing Grandfather to come through. Hidoshi has questions about his ancestors and wants to know if his roots are Hebrew. Yes. Yes. Can you tell him something about that? How is he connected to the Hebrews? Is there something in his DNA? Yes. Mm -hmm. Anything you'd like to tell him? Or is it just from curiosity? Hmm. It's not important. It's not important. Okay. Yeah, this is a class. This is a school. Mm -hmm. This life is a school. Mm -hmm. He had run for another step to go. So he had to go through make every energy even, mm. harmony. So in the end, relationships should be harmonious? It's about, yes, giving up mm. something and it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Do it again. Okay. If if you don't want to do it again, you have to solve the problem. Okay. In this life. So is that the reason why sometimes we are faced with the same situation over and over again? It seems like it's the same situation with different people because we have to learn. Or even different life. A different life. Not uh, necessarily the human. Okay. Sometimes maybe you could be stone, mm -hmm. you could be dust. Mm -hmm. But we still have to. Everything learn. has a spirit. Ah. And are we always learning? Yes. Mm. So you, if you spit on the ground, yes. the ground responds to you later. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's hard to go through, isn't it? Some spirit does. Mm -hmm. If you do spit on the ground with meaning, bad meaning, mm -hmm. bad energy, mm -hmm. no good. Okay. But mm. if you spit on the ground with love, with love, <laughs> let me give you some water. <laughs> yes, yeah, speak nice. Okay. Everything is energy. Everything is. Mm. Every life is spirit. Every matter is a spirit. Mm. If you understand. You speak to them if you have a chance. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's so many spirits, <laughs> <laughs> you miss some. So, if I want all matter, you say, has spirit. So, I have to be nice to my bed, I have to be nice to my pen. I have well, to be nice to everything. You don't, you don't have to say it. <laughs> but you at least have to be kind and. You appreciate, appreciate it, yes. yes. Okay, just you. be appreciative. Yeah, it's so many things you have to appreciate. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> if you focus too much. 
Okay. But if you are happy mm-hmm. with them, that might be the responsible. It's a good responsibility. Okay. If you be happy with all matter, so you don't have to say thank you to for mm-hmm. all matter. Okay. But live in appreciation. Yes. Okay. Very good. Hiroshi tells me that he has a rash on his arm. What's causing this rash? <coughs> poison. Poison. Mm-hmm. What's poisoning him? Chemical. Chemicals. Is there something he could do instead of using this poison to not affect his arm? He should change the materials. Change the materials, okay. For the future. Okay. Can you guide him with that? Yes. Thank you. <coughs> now, when we are drinking and eating and being around poison, you have said that everything has consciousness. Mm-hmm. Is there a way to neutralize what we eat and what we drink and what we work with so that it's not poisonous to us? Mm-hmm. There's so many. It's a lot of contamination. Mm-hmm. Is there a way that we can use our intention to change the effect of these poisons? Each one by one person. Spread the information. There's so many people watching TV and totally controlled. Mm -hmm. Is this poison too? Yes. So our consciousness has been poisoned? Hmm. How can we heal that? Usually something always happened, then people realize unless nothing happened, people never realize. So this is another awakening. Are some of these disasters that we're seeing part of the awakening? Things that will wake us up? Yeah, very small amount. Mm -hmm. What other ways are we being awakened? Our bodies, are they awakening us? Both. Both? Mm. Okay. 
So if something happens to our body, such as the itching on his arm, is that a message for him? That's one of them. Mm -hmm. What other messages does he receive? Through meditation. Through meditation. Mm -hmm. Try to wake in a dream. Couple of times he success. What has he accessed? Success. Oh, okay. So he has success through that meditation? One time. <laughs> Is that in a dream? He, he, he doesn't believe it. Mm -hmm. Is this a dream that he... He moves out? things. He moves things. <laughs> <laughs> in his dream or awake? He was in bed and uh, he, he moves things. Mm. But he wasn't... he was unsure. Okay. So you're telling him he succeeded mm -hmm. in moving things. <laughs> So how can he increase these superpowers that he has? He had to trust the image 100%. Okay. 99%? No. No. <laughs> 100% for real. Mm -hmm. Okay. And once you can trust that image, it happens? Well, it's trust is not a good language. It's... Uh, he should live in that image. Live in that image. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would a better word be know? Just know it? Be it? Or just be the image? Image is a good exercise. Okay, good. What does the dream about an old lady saying that he was Makaba? Mm -hmm. What is that? Makaba. What does that mean? That's a vehicle. The vehicle. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. What was she telling him? Was it a message for him? Future. A future. Not now. Not now. Does he need to know about that now? No. Okay. What about the hands coming out of the street? He felt hmm. like somebody. Was that true? He killed his friend. He killed his friend? And his friend tried to wake him up. Mm. Is this from a different lifetime? Mm. He thought he covered totally. Mm -hmm. And he focus image. <laughs> well, that was a dream. Mm -hmm. It doesn't exist. It does not exist? No. Nope. Okay. What was that dream telling him? Don't use too much image for the fear. Okay. Too much. Th that was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Too much watching TV. Okay. 
And then he had another dream where people were suffering, and then he got sick the next day. He's connected. Connected. He was connected with the people there? Mm. Were these people actual people, or were they uh, people? Actually, he died by train crash. He died of a train crash? Mm -hmm. Is this people that died there of a train crash? Mm -hmm. Okay. And they were just connected it's, with him? It's just the spirits. The spirits. Okay. Connected. Okay. Does spirit connect with him often? Yes. Okay. Is there anything that he needs to do to protect himself from this happening in the, in the future? Yeah, he said. Mm hmm suffered himself. He does time to time if people died he suffer. Mm -hmm. Does he need to suffer that much? Knowing that it's now a process. Okay. Of grieving? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. And another question I have is about when he was very young and he died. What happened to him? Oh, he very young. Mm -hmm. When he was young and he died and he came back. Did anything oh, that uh, commit suicide? Yes. Did anything happen to him? He saw me everything. Mm -hmm. He forget. Can you remind him? Time to time. Okay. He saw everything. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Mm -hmm. Everything all at once. Mm -hmm. Then he got shocked and awake. Did he understand why he had to come back? He was not ready. Okay. Not time. He had learned other things. Okay. It was not time. Has that experience helped him in his life? Yes, yes. Okay. He understands things better? Yes. Okay, good. Do you have anything else to tell him about that? Actually, he died twice. He did. One was not enough. The other one was traffic accident. Mm -hmm. What did he learn from After that? Just uh, his driving technique was good enough. <laughs> he was tired in a hurry. Mm -hmm. 80 days after his grandfather died, mm -hmm. he survived with one tree. Otherwise, his car would fall down to the people's house underneath. Mm -hmm. Who saved his life? Excuse me? Who saved his life? His grandfather. Mm. Did he get to meet? He, he died 80, 80 days before. Okay. So his grandfather saved his life? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Did they get to talk to each other? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> know. Okay. Good. Now you brought 
Hiroshi from a long way to come to see me. Why did you bring him here today? What was the reason? Receiving your says mm-hmm. he's almost there. Mm. Does he understand that? He will understand. Very good. Do you have any other message for anybody else? Off the TV. Turn off the TV. Okay. It's poison. Even newspaper. Mm-hmm. Also the newspaper. Brainwash. All of it is brainwashing. Okay. Anything positive to say? Okay. Very good. I mean, people have to learn things. Something will happen. But for learning process, Trust yourself. Pray to the sun. Mm-hmm. Go to the green field. Be afraid. Talk to the trees. Talk to the earth, mother earth. Mm-hmm. Very good. Are we complete? Yes. Thank you very much. Oh. oh, how do you feel? <sighs> how was that for you? <sighs> <laughs> do you remember any of it? Not much. Not much? <laughs> okay. How long do you feel that you were on this? Very really short. Yeah, like how much? Hmm? How much do you feel? Half hour? Ah, try <laughs> an hour and a half. Hour and a half? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do you remember anything? Well, I remember some. Yeah? I was... Somewhere the, else? The first just... Uh, la- la- Went into a cloud? Did you go into to a the cloud? cloud? Yeah, and then you disappeared into the cloud? Yeah, it's yeah. many colors. Yeah, like a nebula, you said. Hmm. Yeah. So, uh, we found out you died twice. Yeah. Yeah, one was with your gra- after your grandfather died. Yeah. He saved you. I only got the driver's license. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty young. <laughs> and uh, three days old, the new brand car. Oh my gosh. My mother's car. Oh boy. Sunny Coupe. <laughs> <laughs> well. Trust, $300. Oh 
Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so this was a very interesting session. Mm. Your higher self mm. talked a lot about stuff. Hmm. You want to keep it private? Is anything it's about it? Well, it's about pretty much about. Uh, I mean, it's important information, you know, for everybody. Mm. You have to trust. You can't. You have to focus your your mind on positive things because you have you had been focusing on negative things. Mm. We found out that you were able to do something when you were sleeping one day and didn't believe. You could it. edit like that. Uh, yes, we can edit things. <laughs> So, Hiroshi, <laughs> <laughs> very good. How was your experience? Ah, uh, it's like uh, I myself. Yeah. How does it feel? And uh, I see beyond. Mm -hmm. And I was a little confused <laughs> who, who, who I'm talking to or listening to. Uh huh. It's really amazing. So how did it feel to be expressing this other voice? It's like somebody else speaking. Mm -hmm. And when someone else is speaking, it's, is it is it's it a voice? I I recognize the voice. It's a, it's a different voice. <laughs> different voice. Yeah. Mm. Is it wiser or more authority? What what do you feel? Uh, yeah, more authority. Mm -hmm. It's a friendly. A friendly <laughs> voice. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. Does it seem like it's patient with you or not? No, not really. <laughs> it's like uh, we are a company, kind yes. of. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I I had a, I had a feeling I'm enjoying this life. Yes. I I just realized I haven't uh, go through the old experience. You want you have to go through all, all the whole everything experience, good and bad, right? And mistake, include everything. Yeah, I should go through. You just need to go through it's, it. It's not mistake. It's it's experience. It's, like it's just a, being. It's just the process, it's like right? A textbook. <laughs> <laughs> page one, finish page two. Right. Good. When you didn't finish page two, it back to page two. Go back. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Now this is. Almost the end of the page. Yes. You got it? Yes. Oh, that kind of feeling. Yes. So, complete your page of yes. your life. Yes. Life is a story. Mm hmm. Mm. Very good. That now, there's part in this video that we, yeah. we're going to be clipping out, which is his relationship issues, and mm -hmm. uh, without talking about what it is, now do you understand um, why you have certain relationship issues that you have to work on. Yeah, the, yes, mm -hmm. there is always a reason. Yes, and in this that case it was because of a past life mm -hmm. that you change roles. So, mm -hmm. it, in, in this life you may feel like you're the good guy and mm -hmm. somebody's the bad guy, mm -hmm. but in another life it was reversed. Really and now you realize, ooh, there's nothing ooh. missing. <laughs> <laughs> Oops! Now Oops. I realize what I did in that yeah, life and I'm now reliving this now. That's I felt, oh, how he did was how I did. To yes, me. exactly. How so I now you understand it. How she did to me. Exactly. So it's reversed. So, um, you know, we, we're not going to go through this because it was personal, but now we understand mm. how past lives, how everything that we do, in fact, your higher self basically said everything has consciousness. Mm -hmm. Everything. Every bit of matter mm -hmm. has consciousness, mm -hmm. and we need to be kind to mm -hmm. all of it because mm -hmm. it will get back to us. If you spit mm -hmm. on the ground mm -hmm. with anger, <laughs> it'll get back to you. Yes. <laughs> what, what a concept, right? <laughs> so we have to now walk with this kindness constantly, yeah. uh, understanding that when we, when we walk on grass, we mm -hmm. have to be mindful that we are stepping on Consciousness on, on live beings. Yes, it's like to grass mm -hmm. for you to walk on. Yeah. Sorry, I, I have to go through. <laughs> I have to go through this grass. <laughs> Excuse me for stepping on your head. Yes, I'm, you're stepping on my own. Yes, that's amazing. <laughs> so, uh, mm. what would you recommend to other people? Is this something that they should go through? I think so. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, I recommend that people go through. Uh, take this experience mm -hmm.
to see yourself mm -hmm. and uh, to see other yourself. The other other parts of you, yes. Other parts of you. Yes. It's not only one. Yes. Many. Million, yeah. Million Many of parts it. of you. Yeah. So how far did you travel to come see me? Uh, from New York. From New York. Was it worth the trip? Uh, Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. So was yeah. it worth it to come here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. Yes. Yes. It, it was an adventure. It was an adventure. <laughs> So I also travel all around the world, and if you want to reach me, go to my website, albaweinman.com, and in the Out of Town page, you could sign up for my newsletter to see when I'm traveling near you, and uh, if I am going to a city near you, sign up, and I'll be there, and hopefully I get to meet you. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this and learned something from it. I know I did. I always learn from all of them. So, till the next time. Bye. Bye. Do I get this hug? Oh.